Good job, Elder. Oh, it's a big one. Wow. Nice. And it was six pound, three ounce. Hold on, my Folks, I'm here with my niece Ella. What are we gonna catch today? Snakehead. Snakehead. And we have the uh, my Sea Eagle Fish Skiff 16. It's a nice inflatable boat, uh, flat bottom, so it gets in real, sh real shallow, skinny water. And uh, we'll be be quiet, sneaking up on them with this motor here. This is the Torquedo Cruise 2.0. That is a five horsepower electric motor. And I got the weedless prop here. And it has a, I got a rock guard with a grass blaster from Innovative Sportsman there. And I'm going to show you what powers it. A whole lot of uh, lithium. Lithium power here with the power 26104. That's actually the older version of, of our power battery, our 24 volt battery. We got the, the charger in there. Um, you know, end of the day, I take this home. Um, I don't know, I got, looks like 99% of the battery now. Um, we'll see how low we get and, and what kind of range we get. We're not making a real long run today, but uh, we'll look at speed and range. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to get in some real skinny water with this. And uh, I did bring my stand-up paddleboard paddle to help because, you know, once we get into real skinny water, now, if, if you would, just show us how, how the, uh, the operation of lowering that motor goes and, and how you lift it up. Uh, you, pull the, you pull up on it, Yep. and then you lift that, Yep. and you keep it lift up and just let it all the way down. Okay, and then show me it going back up, because you're going to be able to do that when we get in real skinny water. You just lift it up and then it stays there, so nice work. I have it... Um, hooked up to go ahead and drop it back down um, the steering is actually with a a stick steer here I'm gonna let her get that down in place um, and the easy glide stick steer I got my rods in the way here is on the side of the battery box and that just allows that motor head to turn left and right so I have good turning radius there and then the throttle is here so That'll go up to uh, about a little over 2,000 watts. That is our propulsion. Right. Ready for me to back you down the ramp? Yep. Right on. All right, we are underway. I'm going to go ahead and mash the throttle, see what kind of speed we get. So, the magnetic kill switch I have attached to my life jacket, which is very important. So I'll put that back on there. You'll see the speed we get. If you look right here, Ella, I don't know if you can come over and, and show the speed that we're going. I got on the throttle is 6.6 .6 miles per hour. We're kind of going into the wind and maybe against the tidal current. So. We're not going real far, so we're going to head out here and hang a right and find a, uh, see if we can find an area with some vegetation. The grass, the spatter dock, milfoil, any sort of vegetation is where these snakeheads are going to be. Alright, we're not too far down from the ramp and uh, we got a nice little I'll see if I can show you. Nice little creek coming in over here. We're going to run back there, see if we can find any vegetation. Um, they could also be on wood. I, I see some laydowns up in there. Um, we're going to throw some chatterbaits. So, Ella, show us your, the chatterbait you got on there. 
So, looks like we got a, a jackhammer with the palmetto bugs as a trailer. So she's she's gonna be throwing black. I'm gonna try a bait fish color like gold or white. See which one works better. Uh, it's, it was certainly muddy water out in the main part of the river there, but um, I don't know. If it gets clear back here, the bait fish color may make sense. Right, uh, we've gotten a number of bites, haven't we? Yep. Haven't landed one yet, have we? Nope. Alright, so cast it and swing your rod tip to the left. Yep, so you get it as close to this shoreline as possible. Keep reeling, keep reeling. We had a blow up right right in here and I had one on for a second. So you keep it right along this edge as much as you can. That's why I like to position here. I have an edge here, you have an edge there. So keep working it. So this, I think that's coontail and the vegetation that's that's coming in here and you got spatter dock and cattails on the side um, that's all good indication that you know we're in good good snakehead area um, this is a really shallow flat we're actually moving back in the creek and this is where this this particular boat excels we drifted into i don't think it was even two inches of water there and i was able to with the stand-up paddleboard paddle get right out back into the the channel so let's see we got some surface activity towards the back i always like fishing the uh the outside bends because they're easier to to navigate in but that's where we're we're seeing these fish So we've moved to the back of the uh, the creek here and didn't really get anything. Didn't move fish like we were on the on the outside bend channel out there. So we're moving back out. Um, if you look at the shoreline, you can see all that all that exposed mud. That tells us that it is low tide, and and these fish. I'm guessing they're telling us that they move out of these smaller little feeder creeks. And they move out to the main channel when it's you know when it's low tide because uh, that's certainly where we <clears throat> had a couple blow ups and you know had each of us had a fish on that got off so we'll head back out there i imagine when the tide comes back in and this starts getting deep and flooding they'd be in here for sure You just missed one right there, didn't you? Yeah, it was right there. Right, get back in there. I heard him splash at it. He slurped it. How fast were you moving when he hit it? Just about what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Keep casting. I saw two of them blowing up on the surface back here. Do the same thing you just did. It'll happen. Good job, Elvis. Oh, it's a big one. Wow. Nice. Whoa. Oh my God. All right, swing them this way. Swing, no, 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 no. Swing, swing them this way. Oh. Nice. <laughs> He's Wet line out. a little bit, but. Wet line out. Ella, <laughs> what do you think? Awesome. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. That's bigger than ones I got the other day on the Potomac. So slimy. Oh, good job. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna, because he's got those teeth, I'm gonna get my pliers on him. Get that off. Uh, and uh, we we saw him hitting the surface. Right over there. Yep. And we went in after him. He hit that the jackhammer with the palmetto bugs. And uh, we're gonna see what this this guy weighs. <laughs> You're petting your snakehead. I am. <laughs> All right, let's get a measurement on him. This is my striper measuring stick, but it'll work for for this snakehead here. 
So looks like you have about 28 inches. Yep, 28 inch naked. I'm gonna let them breathe here for a second. Look at all that slime. <laughs> Yummy. All right, and then you'll you'll handle them. We're gonna get some pictures, and then you can release them. All right. Yeah, the the black handle on the boga grip is the best way to to manipulate them. Just I need you to lift them up and support his belly. <clears throat> We measured this fish and it was six pound, three ounce. Hold them up close to me and beautiful fish. 28 inches, six pound, three ounce. That is your your biggest snakehead to date. So we're gonna go ahead and put that pull big up. animal back in the water. Just pull it up. Yeah, you're just gonna pull back on this and let her go. Boop, gone. Nice catch, Ella. Alright, let's get another one. I saw another one blowing up right over there. See those... See those uh, bait fish moving up there? Yeah. Right on that... On that uh, ooh, I heard one moving in the distance, but... I think we see... A school of... Of, uh, of baby snakehead up there. You see some gurgling off on that, that little notch on the left. Can you get one out there? A little further. There's one in there. There. You see that? You see a movement? Yeah. In the bubbles? That's one. We got one behind us. I'm going to cast at that one. You cast at the, the one in front of you. The further up this creek we went, the, uh, the less and less surface activity on that bank that we saw. So we're heading back out. I mean, there was three areas that we saw, you know, every, every minute or two, you'd see some kind of motion on the bank. And we just got to go back where, where we saw them. So some of this is super shallow and I'm just kind of guessing because we got a real flat shoreline there and a steeper one on this side trying to stay on the uh, the deeper shoreline because I need probably about that much depth to operate the motor cleanly one just jumped there you see it so we've drifted up on a little muskrat here you see him Ella yep What's, what's he chewing on? Um, the um, grass and weeds. Yep. He's a cool looking critter for sure. Look at him swimming. Swim a little while. Chew on something, keep moving. <clears throat> so besides the northern snakehead that you caught, what other animals have we seen today? Um, we saw a bald eagle, a, um, what do we call it, the little... The muskrat? The muskrat. Yep. Um, a sea snake. <laughs> Saw a, a, it was a brown water snake. Yeah. I saw a large mouth that swirled at my bait and missed it. What else? Um, what do we see popping up on the surface every once in a while and resting on logs? Turtles. Turtles everywhere. Painted turtles and sliders. Oh, look at this minnow. He's, he's right here. Oh, there he goes. Fun looking in the shallow grass as this starts flooding. Somebody just moved out of there. You see that? Yeah. See that tuck of, of, uh, of mud? They're in there. Oh, I did that. Yeah, we 
got another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna see what length this guy is. We're gonna put his tail at zero and his head. What did you say? 25? Yep. 24 and 3 quarters. That's a pretty good guess. Beautiful fish here. Let's see the weight. I bet he would be a little bit under 5. He's uh, on his way to 6 pounds. So, heavy fish. I'm going to get one real quick grip and grin shot and then we'll let her go. Alright, nice almost six pound 24 and, and three quarter inch northern snakehead here in the Chesapeake Bay drainage. And uh, it's good to take these and eat them but it's also good to put them back if you're not ready to put one on the grill. Uh, leave them for someone else to come enjoy catching. So we're gonna say thank you Mr. Snakehead and uh, I'll catch you next time. There he goes. So Ella's here behind me casting out onto this point. It, it Snakehead fishing can be a, very much like red fishing. Uh, if you're good at catching redfish in shallow water where they, they tail, it's the same kind of thing. You're looking for, you know, you're looking for the water to be moving and for those fish to show themselves. And we got one on the point here that has swirled on some minnows, you know, three or four times. So I've tried to position us. It's tough in the wind, but um, Ella keeps, you know, showering that area with casts. I think she's bound to hook up. Just look for the motion. You, you slink along in the shallows and look for the motion. They will tell you where they are. Let's take a look at that spot. So the dynamic here, Ella, is that you have the tide coming in and it's it's going from left to right across this point. And that fish is feeding right on the, the eddy line from that clump of grass. The, the root balls and the eddy of it coming across there. It's just sitting there waiting on food to come across. So as much as you can cast right across just just to the outside of that that's where he's going to be looking for food how's that going good so we got ella i just sat her down had her put the uh her kill switch on there she's operating the uh the cruise 2.0 for the first time where are we headed? I don't know. You don't know? No. You want to see, you want to try one of these other spots? Yeah. Let's see if we can head, head over that way, take a couple more casts. So, stick steer, forward is one way, back is another. I don't know. I can't tell you whether it's right or left. I, you, you learn it intuitively. It takes about a second. So. All right, let off the throttle. We're gonna drift into place, and we got we got a nice shoreline right here that we'll just drift into. Okay. okay. All right, we're cruising out. It's a good day, short day, but uh, Ella, we got some snakehead, right? Yeah. Cool. I'll let her operate heading back. 